In this lecture, we're going to show a tool relative view. With this tool, we can define our own orthographic views. So first, let's insert our part. Let's go to view layout, model view. Let's choose part 31 and let's go with front view. So this is our front view and it looks kind of awkward, weird. And this is not what we're looking for. So in this case, we have to define our new orthographic views. And we're going to use a tool relative view. So let's go to view layout and to relative view. If you don't have this tool here, you can go to search command, type in relative and then choose relative view. Or you can go to insert, drawing view and relative to model. So let's click on this tool and now we have to choose our orthographic front view, this one. And now we go directly to our part file. Here on the left side, we have to choose orientation. So we have first orientation and second orientation. For the first orientation, we can choose front, right, top, back, left, bottom. We're going to choose front. And for the second orientation, we can choose right, top, left, bottom, and we're going to choose bottom. Our front orientation will be this one, and our bottom will be this one. And now let's just click OK. So we are back. Let's go with mouse to our drawing, and we have created a new front view. And this is how you can create your own orthographic views. There is also a second way how we can define our orthographic views. Let's click on this view and let's open part. And now we want to choose another front view and we want this one. So let's click on this one and let's go to view orientation and normal too. Now let's go back to view orientation and here we have more options. Under more options, we have an icon here, reset standard views. So when you have some awkward views, you can first start and try reset. If that doesn't work, you can define then new views by using update standard views. So let's click on this one and let's choose front view. This one. And now we have a question. Do you want to make this change? Yes. Let's exit. Let's go back to our sheet and now we see that our view has been changed so those are two ways how you can change your orthographic views